everyone and uh, my boyfriend came back the other day from seminar and he brought me uh, this pulley and this wig so I'm going to uh, open the box but first I want to talk a little bit about this wig because it's something that I had actually asked him to bring uh, if it was possible it's a um, um, Miu doll like make it on wig so it's made by Groove so it's definitely fit pulled 100% sure and it it's like um, so it's a black wig as you can see and inside here it has I'm not gonna open it because I don't want it to get dusty before I use it but it has like some uh, sort of scratch tape here that you can put on the head and put the wig on so that's what he brought me and the second thing was uh, this pulley and this pulley is a Nana Chan so Nana Chan is a cat so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open uh, our box and then I'm going to show her to you and Nana Chan was really popular I think she's still really popular a, a Groove made three dolls I think it's a, like one of Japanese celebrity called Mi-chan, so it's a boy, so it's a Taeyong doll, so two Taeyong doll of Mi-chan. And Nana-chan is actually Mi-chan's cat. So uh, I don't know if Mi-chan is a singer or anything, I'm not really uh, up to date with Japanese celebrities, either music or otherwise. But I know that uh, he's a celeb, Mi-chan is a celebrity and there are two Taeyong of him. And Nana-chan is his cat, so you can see already in the box here she has those ears and she has a tail that you're going to see really really soon. And also she is wearing socks but not no, no shoes and I guess that's because she is a cat. And when I first saw that doll I saw that she was a little bit unsophisticated because she has just a really plain white dress and like no less so much just only at the bottom a little bit but uh, after a while you know like seeing her at the store several times and online and seeing people uh, with pictures of her and also like seeing her in other outfits I realized that I sort of changed my mind like I think I think she's really beautiful, like she has a really nice face up for starter. And she also has like pretty cool hair. Yeah, so I think I think she's going to fit right at home with my other dolls. So and I also like the fact that she is a cat. So I really like um dolls with some kind of animal outfit like for example my Amane which is my only Aizon 50 cm she is a wolf so she has the, cat, the wolf ears and she has a wolf tail at the back so I think that's pretty cool and I have a several Aizon like I have a wolf Aizon uh, as well and like um, two other of my dolls have rabbit ears on their hat and I have also a wolf like like you have seen before I have a wolf in a full outfit and I have the Paja who is a dinosaur my little dinosaur and I have another cat like with a complete cat outfit so Moon she's called Moon she is a black cat with a pink hair he's going to be my black cat and Nana-chan is going to be my white cat so I hope they enjoy each other's company so Nana-chan is almost out of the box oh she just fell out of the box by herself when I remove the things so um, let me first so she is here and I'm going to zoom in a minute but let me first remove the protection of her wig. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the doll stand later. Protection of her wig here. 
So she has her ears and she has her tail. And yeah, she doesn't have any plastic anywhere, which is pretty nice. Let me check. No, no plastic anywhere. So. And I'm going to have a little trouble with the ears here. Okay. Maybe that's gonna work. So let me zoom and I'm gonna show you another chan from closer. See Hibarichun is here riding her carrot. So here we have the close-up of Nana-chan. So Nana-chan has a very light color face-up. She has very light colored lips. And she has like very light blush. It looks really dark on the video because of the light that comes from behind. But it's actually pretty light. And then she has um, big eyebrows. Like very big eyebrows, probably because she's a cat, so she needs some kind of filling feature. And then she has like really nice lashes only on the side of the eyes, and it's kind of dark around her eye, like very dark lashes, but kind of light color lashes in, on the going to the cheek. And then she has greenish, yellowish cat eyes. So it's pretty cool. It's like it's like a orangey on the center and more green on the side. And I don't know if you can see the difference of color if I move her around. Anyway, maybe like this. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and. Um, so I, I really like her face, she has a very very soft face and I think it really works well with the rest of her style. So she has bangs which are a bit messy at the moment so I'm gonna have to uh, give her uh, like some hair tre treatment and she comes with the, uh, this headband which is like form of cat ears so different color at the back and at the front so it's completely white here and here it's a little bit grey, a little bit beige at the bottom, at the back, and she has those very long curly hair going down. So those are a little bit like a uh, classical Alice style of hair, but I think the um, the groups here, the strand of hair, are a little bit thinner than for Alice. And then she comes with this very plain white dress. So I'm gonna need to take care of this. Little bit of frizz on the hair, and she comes with this very li like simple dress. But actually, it's n it has like the the fabric is not just plain white. It has this those little uh, different. I don't know how to call that. It's like it's not straight lines. Like there is little groups of yarn to make the little design on a dress, that's what I'm gonna say. And then she is she has like this piece around her neck with a lot 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 of pearl which is probably the color of the cat and it can be removed so it's not attached to the dress. So I'm going to remove it to show you. So here we go. So this piece can be removed no, it cannot. Ah, actually, so it it's closed at the back, like this. But it is also sewn to the dress, so it cannot be removed unless you unsew it. And it's probably uh, it probably can be opened at the back so that you can remove the dress completely. So that that must be the reason why, unless you want to unsew it, like on both sides and just uh, remove it so because she has a nice color made with less underneath anyway but it, it looks nice like that and she has another color here with a little pearl which I hadn't seen because 
it was a little bit too high so here and then so she has like this long dress which is and that dress is sewn many times over at the back uh, uh, at the bottom like all the way around and finish with two pieces of lace and she has the most adorable little socks no stripes this time just um, grey brownish little socks with less at the top and of course she has a tail so her tail is the same color as the back of her ears so grey and beige maybe a little bit white and from side to side so that's for Nana Chan So we're back here and I'm going to go and take some pictures of Nana Chan so that you can see her more in detail and especially because like the light is coming from the window behind so you cannot really see properly her cheek, the color of her cheek so I'm going to take picture for you to see that a little bit better and what I'm going to, I wanted to announce something today is that you've seen I have that uh, Mio a week and I also have some Mio kits so I'm soon going to start on working on my mini me which is um, Mio doll which is going to look exactly like me if possible so it's, I'm going to try to design her to have as much thread as possible to look like me I'm not going to carve, I'm not going to do any carving, I've never done any carving on my Mio before so I'm still not going to carve, so it's going to be just a natural polyp, just painted face and clothes design so I'm soon going to be doing that so that's what I wanted to announce I think that's it yeah, I think that's it so uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you're uh, enjoying Anna Chan like I enjoy her, she's going to be really really good uh, in my fa doll family so see you next time guys and have fun whatever you do bye